first guest tonight is a seven-time Emmy Award winner who is now starring on Broadway in Six Degrees of Separation. Please welcome the great Allison Janney. <laughs> Nice to see you again. Nice to see you too. Last time we were together was here, yeah. and it was uh, during the conventions, right? Right before the conventions. I can't remember anything that happened yesterday, so yeah, you're on feeling. your own. I know the feeling. <laughs> uh, so, uh, how are you? Uh, how are you dealing with this new administration? I'm having a little bit of a problem. I'm having some problems. Well, you have a you have a level of expertise not a lot of people have is that you inhabited the greatest uh, White did. House press secretary of all time. Yes. <laughs> I can't think of a character I would rather be more like and am um, nothing like. Really? You know nothing I mean? like CJ? No, I, gosh, I wish I could be like her. And I feel sorry for Mr. Spicer. I can't... I mean, he's, he's remarkable because he always seems to be in a state of, of fight and flight at the same time. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? That's not easy. It's not easy. That's not easy. And, and, and I, you know, as CJ, I had Aaron Sorkin in my cockpit. And, and, sure. And he has someone... I'm, I'm not sure... Is knows how to fly a plane <laughs> or, a or, or a cockpit or a cockpit. Now, when are we going to get um, a reunion of the West Wing? We've had oh, the Gilmore Girls. <laughs> We've had the Gilmore Girls. I, I want. I'm, uh, we have little reunions ourselves, not on camera, really? but behind camera. We do. We Can all... I get invited to one of those? I would love. Yes. Ever in New York? I'd stop by. You know what? Well, I'm trying to get them all to come see Six Degrees of Separation, so oh, I will great. let you know when they are coming, and Please. we will all go out Brad on Woodford the town. Stops by all the time. Brad Woodford. I love me my Marty Sheen. Sean Marty and Richard Schiff and yeah. Mary McCormick and Janelle Maloney, Incredible. Melissa Fitzgerald. They're all fantastic people. I love them. <laughs> we will. I will make this happen. Uh, now, you, uh, I understand, have a theater background uh, from way back. You actually studied theater at Kenyon College. Yeah, because there was nothing else I could do. I tried to major in psychology, and mm -hmm. I had to deal with rats, and I was like, I can't do it. I cannot <laughs> do it with the, the rat lab, you mm -hmm. know, part of psych... Whatever. I don't know. So I well, decided to... Go, please. I'm sorry. I, no, 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 I apologize. No, you go. no, no. You're no. so cute. No, no, um, you're cute. All right, so um, <laughs> then, um, yeah, so I went into the theater department and they had built this beautiful new theater at Kenyon College, which is in Gambier, Ohio. I don't know if anyone's. It's quite yeah, quiet. Nobody it's is. a quiet area. <laughs> Gambier is. I have some friends they, who went there, very quiet. It's a beautiful area of the country mm -hmm. and they built this beautiful theater and one of their very famous graduates came back to direct the first production in that new theater, who? and who do you think that was? I... Allison Janney, who? No, Paul Newman. Oh! Yeah. Wow, he Paul came Newman back went to direct to the first wow. play, and, the, and I got myself cast in that play by hook or by crook. I was like, I am in that play. He but now you got to you got to meet him. I and got spend to meet time him and with him work with him. And Joanne Woodward, who who was very instrumental in getting me to come to New York and do theater here at the Neighborhood Playhouse. I, you know, they very much started. What was my... he like? Well, what did, what did you have to do? What was your audition for I, Paul Newman? Well, I I basically just told him you had to get up and talk on stage about anything you wanted, and I decided I was going to talk about because um, I knew I was going to appeal to his love of race car driving. And I had just gotten a... I'm not going to tell you what year, but I got a Scirocco, a uh, Navy A Volkswagen, blue, a Volkswagen yeah. Scirocco, which shifters. I thought was pretty... Yeah. Oh, no, not mine. But, um, yeah. but anyway, so I made up a story about... Because I grew up in Dayton, Ohio, and I said it usually takes two hours and 15 minutes to drive to Kenyon, but I can make it in an hour and 10 if I take exit, you know, something when the cops aren't there and I punch it to sit, you know, I made this whole story up. And, and it probably had nothing, no reason to do with why I got the part, but, but I like to think that I, you know, I catfished him into casting. <laughs> you seduced him. You seduced, seduced Paul him. Newman is what you're trying to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> with your love of Volkswagens. No, Formula One, race Volkswagen. Car driving, it's very, it's driving. very similar. It's He's a fan of racing. I Sounds like you were describing traffic. <laughs> All aspects of car. <laughs> now, uh, the play you're in uh, right Six here, which is at, of is at the Ethel Barrymore. It's a beautiful, beautiful play. It is. A uh, the Ethel play. Barrymore Theater. You with John Benjamin Hook Hickey. John Benjamin Hickey, Corey Hawkins, mm -hmm. who's in the new 24 reboot, and he was in um, Straight Outta Compton. He played Dr. Dre. Gorgeous performance. Um, Twelve. There are other beautiful actors in this play. It's it's such a timely piece. The, for those who saw it the first time, this 
it resonates even more now, and, and it's the most beautiful play, and I'm so honored to be a part of it, and I would encourage you to, you have to come see it. I would love to come okay. see it. Okay. Tell me when Martin Sheen's gonna be there. <laughs> now, I really do wanna go see it, okay. but um, the, the play is famous for being beautiful, but it also the title, Six Degrees of Separation, has become sort of a byword in a game yes. in, in, our, uh, in, in our culture. Uh, there, the idea being everywhere in the world, there are only six degrees of separation between you and any other person. So that we're all Every, connected. Yes, exactly. Let's talk about the president for a second. Do you have six <laughs> degrees of separation between you and the most powerful man in the world? Yeah, I, uh, yes, I do. I absolutely, I can't believe this, but I do. I was cast in a Woody Allen movie called Celebrity back in, I don't know when, but I did that. And I had to play this real estate agent and I was at this big fancy party. Um, uh, I can't remember what the circumstances were, but I was at this party, it was like, like 25 tables of people, and, and I'm, they're filming my scene, and my character has to say, oh yes, I've got a fabulous, uh, I've got a fabulous triplex up on East 83rd Street, You've got, you must come look at it, whatever, I'm making up lines, but, and Woody Allen, they do a take, and Woody Allen comes over to me, and he says, is it triplex or triplex? And I, I kind of went, ooh, uh, I just always said triplex, and he said, well, you better find out and turned around and walked away. What a I know. Jerk. Well, I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, talk about being put on the spot. Sure. I was like, looking at this table of background artists with me and I was like, does anybody know? <laughs> no, I mean, and, and this one uh, girl said, um, that man who's in real estate is sitting over there, he's doing a cameo, and it was like five tables over across this huge room, and there was Donald Trump. And I said, well, I said, well, I guess I'll go ask Donald Trump. And I got up and I marched over there and I said, excuse me, Mr. Trump, I'm Allison Janney. I'm playing a small part over, sitting over there. And I just, is it triplex or triplex? And he went, um, uh, well, you do him better than me. I can't do him. Um, he's, he liked, uh, he said, I like triplex. So okay. I said, okay. And I marched back over and I did another take and Woody Allen came over and he said, do, well, so which is it? And I said, well, Mr. Trump says it's triplex. So I guess we'll go with that but as he turned away and walked, started walking away, and I said, but for the record, I like triplex better. 